Okay, we're all ready to go. Check that penny. Make sure that, make sure that penny has two sides. Does that penny have two sides? Okay. Put it the head side. Okay. Put it down, Joe. Right on the head. Put it down. No, put it in. Okay. okay. That's what's that head. Right. Okay. Go like this, and that's tails. How did he do that? <laughs> that's magic. See, that's magic. What do you think of that, boys? Yeah, can you change a, a, a quarter to a thousand dollars? No one ready. Oh, I vanished. Sometimes if I do it my hands. <laughs>
interesting thing is the third birth it seems to me is this our birth is the birth of Jesus, which is the third birth, which is the birth of Jesus in us. Yeah. And while we have nothing to do with our own birth, nothing to do with the birth of Jesus, we have everything to do with the third birth, with the birth of Jesus in us. And so today we initiate that life in John Monroe, and then it's up to you, his parents and his family, and his God family, to see that that new life in Jesus is nurtured and that it grows. And so that's really what we do today. We begin that life and then we commend that life to you to see that this life in Jesus is really new. Let's hope and pray that that's what we do with that. And we pray now on page 5, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look loving on each one of us. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. All your saints and child, pray for us. Daddy. Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only Son to the world. To cast out the power of Satan and the spirit of evil. To rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him to the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, John Monroe. Set him free from original sin, the temple of your glory, and set your Holy Spirit to dwell within him. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. We anoint you now with the oil of salvation. In the name of Christ our Savior. And strengthen you with his power and his power forever. Amen. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give John Monroe the life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. And Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we see your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood were the sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and the beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people set free from, from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son will be water and blood. Give men in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, to send your son and send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ and the dead of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Page 9. My dear parents and godparents, you have come to present this child for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. He is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in his heart. In your faith, if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your sister. This is the faith of the And this is your will. John Monroe, I baptize you in the name of the Father. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's do that again. 
Jaman Ro at that time, she married the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. He's supposed to wake up. <laughs> the Spirit is not the Father. We would worry about you, John Ro, if you didn't wake up. <laughs> sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation as Christ has anointed the priest of God in your home. And so may you live always as a member of the body, sharing everlasting life. Thank you. 
First, I want a picture of the good meme. Yes. You always be so placid in your life. And Father, Father, your name is? My name is Father Dacian D. D. May he always remember that name. Right? It's a hard one to forget. Well, John Monroe is pretty good too. As long as yes. Father, beautiful service. Very, very nice. Believe it or not, I came here last July as the pastor. Mm -hmm. This is the first baptism I've done since I got here. Yeah. And we usually have a deacon do them. And then they spread them around with the priests and stuff. And so they said to me, would you do them in April? And I said, oh, yeah, I'll do them in so April. So when, when you call. <laughs> I said, OK. And you know, when I went to the office and registered, they said, when you were doing baptism, they said to me, you're so lucky to have a deacon. Oh. Something that gets you? Yeah, and it's something that I said I wanted. Which I'm on. And it's not just last year I've seen something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So do I. And our car is out there. Thank you. Where's your car? Take care of the air. And a John. Where are you parked? Oh, right across the front. Up that way or that way? It's the worst one. This is for J.O.G. Ford. Yeah. Let's have some big smiles. Hey, Father, tell us a New York joke so I can get a smile out of everybody. <laughs> 